seen one, take one mark. The field has a pretty heavy burden. Those are really challenging to shoot and we're totally thinking about different ways to shoot those. The field is basically responsible for all of the elements uh, of the show that are outside the studio. So anytime Sam is out there talking to people in the world or anytime you're seeing something that's not in the studio, that's field. It's basically just like the funny documentary part of the show. Every field piece is led by the field producer, who also is the director of the piece. We say, hey, here's a terrible, awful thing that's happening in the world. Let's tell it in this funny fashion. And sometimes there'll be a specific joke that we'll have pre-planned that we want to deliver. Sometimes that joke is also advancing the narrative of the story we're trying to tell. So you come up with ideas for stories, go out and interview people, and then you come back and you write the script and supervise the edit, and voila, you have a field segment. A lot of what we do now is the same thing, but over Zoom. In a job where your job is to be funny, you have meetings that are literally, they're jokers, they're called jokers. You come up with certain jokes for, for the segment that you're working on. And when they go well, it's the best experience in the world. It's harder now. Laughing in a room and slapping each other on the, the back has become us typing into a Google document like this and then like reading someone else's joke and being like, oh, that's funny. That's really funny. That's funny. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, you lose some of like the physical gags that, that we could do. It's kind of fun though, like for interviews, it's so much easier to actually like go from the yes to the production because I think everybody is stuck at home. Everybody's really putting their mind to like, what are the fun ways that we can play with Zoom? I was kind of like, guys, this is a dumb idea, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Should we get one of those robots and do man on the streets with a robot? I feel like Raz has been obsessed with that robot for a while. We have Sam remoting into the robot, and then we're going to film the robot interacting with people on the street. And so the tie-in with COVID is telemedicine. These actual robots are used to provide things from like going into an ICU when a doctor doesn't have enough PPE to like providing stroke care. And then a lot of the humor just came from bringing it around the parks. What I miss most of all is going out and just observing people because often that's the most delightful and entertaining stuff that you can find. Personally, I'm really into uh, European dramas. Just people being people. It was our first time like doing, you know, somewhat something kind of resembling a shoot. Um, and it was really fun to play with that uh, weird robot. So Ishan is the AP on this piece. The role of an AP during COVID is sort of to make sure everything is organized and that a producer and the editor has all the footage they need to, to start an edit and then work with the assistant editor to make sure all that gets loaded. What we're doing is we're entering into these like Zoom edit rooms. And we screen share to figure out like what the edit currently looks like. I'm in my closet right now and then kind of pull it together based on that. Generally, edit bays are pretty small, but what I've learned is that they're not as small as my closet. I'm standing with a thick blanket over my head to record a voiceover. Isn't TV glamorous? I think that if the story is interesting enough, it's compelling enough, people will easily forget that it doesn't quite look like a regular piece. Will you go for a bike ride with me? Of course, I'd love to. Look at us, we're riding together. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.